Hello everybody. Today I want to go over how to fill out a form for for a trust or a corporation. They basically look exactly the same other than a checkbox and some wording. But um, in all reality, I'm not going to get into how to do a trust. You, you need to do that with an attorney. But I will show how you fill out the forms for a trust. Now, there's... Um, there's a bunch, as of late, a bunch of issues with Quicken, Willmaker, and all that. I, like I said, I'm not going to get into all that, but what I am going to do here is show you how to fill out a Form 4 using a trust or a corporation, both of which will work just fine. Um, if you do a corporation, there's rules surrounding that, and you, once again, need to talk to an attorney about that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go over that information so you'll have that and you'll understand. Now, it's going to look easier because there's a whole lot less stuff to do, but you also have to remember you're compounding it with getting an attorney involved to prepare all this other paperwork. So, you know, it might be a little less legwork on your end, but it's going to be a lot more expense and legwork on the attorney's end. With that in mind, let's get started. All right. What we have here is a Form 4 filled out for use with trust operations. All right. If you'll notice, there's a, a lot of stuff on this one that isn't highlighted that was on the other ones. All right, we'll get into it now. Now, you got um, up in transferee's name and address, you're going to have the name of the trust, your address typically in city, state, and zip code, because the trust is typically attached to your address. All right, and then the county you live in, and then below it'll be the usual dealer's information along with the dealer's phone number in that block. Now, this block down here is the same as the other one. Block four is the information surrounding the weapon itself. You'll have the maker's name and address, what it is, whether it's a silencer, machine gun, etc. As you can see, a pre-filled machine gun for some reason. The caliber, and then the serial number, the length of the barrel. If it has a barrel, silencers will have NA in this block. And then the overall length of the item goes here. Now, Model name, if it has a model name, a lot of suppressors from days gone by don't even have model names. So be, this will be blank in that case. Um, I failed to mention that in the other form four, but yeah, if it has a model, you'll put it there. All right, and then of course, this block here is, is information for the host weapon if it's got an integral. This line here will still be blank because you don't have an FFL. And if you do have a Curio and Relic FFL, you will put that number right here. But that's all that goes there. And then down here is the dealer will pre-fill his data for that. Make sure he circles the little I do so you can check your status. Your dealer will sign it. He'll, write, he'll print his name and put his title, whether it's president or owner or whatever. He'll write the today's date in that block, his current date. And then this line below here is all for the ATF, just like the other one. On the back, of course, the pre-filled check blocks. Now, on a trust, there's no photograph. You don't need one. Um, you also won't get the law enforcement block signed because a trust won't have a criminal record. So you don't have to go get the sheriff to sign off on it either. The trust name will go there. Collecting will go there. And then when you sign it, you're going to put your signature and then you're going to write the word trustee beside your name. And then today's date, whatever the date is that you fill your forms out, will go beside it. Now, like I said, there's no law enforcement certification for a trust or a corporation. The corporations are identical to this, except for the corporate name goes in place of where you got trust name. All right, and then here you'll put the trust, then, then the trust name again, and then USA in block three. And then down here, you're going to put your signature and then trustee beside it, just like I wrote it right here. And then you're going to put the current date again. All right. Then you got your little check. Don't forget to put the serial number of your item on the check. And um, it'll still be tax paid, so you'll need a check. But yeah, be sure you put the serial number of the item on the check. Now, this, uh, this will all get mailed in to this address. And you'll make the check out. As you see, appropriate amount made payable to Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. All right. So you can write B-A-T-F-E like I've done on this fake check. They'll accept that and with the serial number on it, everybody's happy. But yeah, you'll mail it to this address for that amount for $200. If you're getting an AOW, that's what the $5 check block is for. 
But silencers, machine guns, short rifles, and all that jazz all go on $200 stamps. That's why it'll pre-fill the, the $200 check block for you. There's not a lot of AOWs floating around that uh, people, they're kind of collected and then they stay in collections. But yeah, things are, things are a little simpler on the Form 4 side, but as far as the actual um, process, you'll have to get an attorney involved to either form a corporation or a trust to uh, do the paperwork like that. So just remember that, that yeah, it does, it is easier on your legwork end, but it is more expensive and complicated when you involve your lawyer to get you to draw up the gun trust. And you need to honestly get one that specializes in NFA law because there's some nuances to the trust like lawful heirs and there's all sorts of things about determining your mental capacity that you need to talk to a lawyer, I'll just be honest with you. But yeah, you won't need a picture. That's the main difference and you don't need to get the law enforcement signature. That whole block can be left blank and that picture left blank when you do the trust. And you'll, of course, like I said, you'll sign your name with the word trustee instead of just your name. Other than that, it's just the same as a regular Form 4. All right, thank you very much. All right, to recap, you need your check for $200. You'll need your Form 4 filled out in duplicate, two copies. You'll need your certificate of compliance. If you'll notice, there wasn't no fingerprint cards. That's because you don't use them with a trust or a corporation. Um, so it kind of simplifies the process even further. I didn't mention that in the paperwork section, but... But yeah, you don't have to have um, photographs, you don't have to have fingerprints, and you don't have to go see the sheriff to do a trust or a corporation. You do have to get a trust or a corporate or form a corporation, but you know it it does save you a little bit of legwork. So um, once again, I'm not going to tell you to do a trust or to how to do one or any of that because I'm not an attorney. You know, you do your own research or call your lawyer and talk to them but um but you see the difference and now you understand so if you have any questions i appreciate it and, uh, just email me and we'll go from there thank you very much